Hi all, this is Sampath. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In the today video tutorial, I'm going to show how to maintain a source list from contract and purchase info record. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. To create a contract, we can use the transaction code ME31K. In this case, from contract, I'm going to maintain a source list. Okay, I'm going to enter a vendor, this 1000 vendor agreement type. I entered MK quantity contract, enter purchase organization and purchase group. Now press enter key, enter validity date, validity date. I'm going to enter 31 12 2024. Now press enter key. Enter your material. I material is this one. Enter quantity. Quantity I'm going to enter 50 quantity. Enter net price. Net price I'm entering 5 euro. That's it. Now press enter key. Now select the line to maintain source list. Select the line. Click on item. Select maintain source list. Okay enter validity date so validity date i'm going to enter today date validity end date i'm going to enter end of this year okay now i'm going to select fixer vendor indicator and mrp run mrp run i'm going to maintain indicator one mrp relevant okay now press enter key come back now save the contract. Yes. Now we can check the source list. Just come back, go to the transaction code ME01. Now press enter key. Ensure your material. Now press enter key again. Yes. System maintain the source list with outline agreement. In the next case, I am going to show how to maintain source list in purchase info record. Enter the transaction code slash n me 11. In the second case, I am going to use vendor 1001 vendor. Enter your vendor material and purchase organization. Now press enter key. Press enter key again. Enter all the required details. Enter standard quantity enter tax code i selected gr based invoice verification checkbox enter amount amount i'm going to enter 5 euro now press enter key now click on the extra select source list okay now enter the validity date validity date i'm going to enter from validity from date okay today date now Enter the validity end date. Validity end date. I'm going to enter end of this year. Okay. Now select fixed vendor indicator and MRP run indicator. I maintained MRP indicator one. Okay. Now press enter key. Come back. Press enter key. Press enter key. Now save the purchase info record. Okay. Now come back. Enter the transaction code ME. 01 now press enter key enter your plant here just observe we selected fixed vendor indicator for both the line item one line item consists outline agreement and another line item consists purchase info record when i create the purchase requisition manually in that case system considers thousand vendor has priority why because it consists outline agreement so here outline agreement is the priority okay now i'm going to test that enter the transaction code slash n me 51 n now press enter key select source determination checkbox enter material enter quantity enter plant enter purchase group press enter key yes system determined the 
thousand vendor. Why? Because it concedes outline agreement. That's it today video tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.